every guy, every woman who is a very active sportsman or sportswoman, they know that taking a break or having a recovery is one of the most important things to do after going really into it. Now we do that for our body. Why don't we do that for our mind? Why don't we do that for our brain? In a world like today, nobody, or let's say, not many people are saying, if you want to be successful, you have to take a break sometimes. But I am, and I am, and I'm going to continue saying this because I believe in this. In a break, everything is recharging, like your thoughts, your ideas, your solutions. Your mind is doing a reboot. After a reboot, you have a solution. You might have an answer. You might have a new idea. It's always like that. And that is why taking a break suddenly becomes a tool in the biggest stress moments. A few times a day, I ask myself, on which level, from 0 to 10, am I right now in my concentration level? How focused am I right now? If it is about 5, I'm going to continue. If it is between 0 and 5, I'm going to have a break. The second question is my energy level. From 0 to 10, where is my energy level? If it is below 5, I'm going to take a break, a mini break. Just go outside, just close your eyes for 30 seconds, whatever you want to do as a break. But if it is above 5, I'm going to continue. So these are the two simple questions I'm asking myself if I need a break or not. I think there are many possibilities to take a break. They don't have to be huge, they just have to be calming. Find anything which calms you down. If it is one song, you just listen to this song and that will be a break for you. I can only work like that. I can only function like that. I love to go for it, like really. But then I need a break. If you want to hear a little bit more why it is so important to take a break, then listen to my podcast, which you can find here or here or here or here. And now I think we're going to take a break. And maybe you too. Enjoy. Bye. So Samuel is asking me. <laughs> so that's it.